To start off, you want to take an antibacterial cleansing spray. This is by ASP. And you want to spray your hands and any implements that you'll be using on your nails. And this is just going to sanitize everything. The next step would be to, if you would like, use a cuticle remover. If not, then you just want to take a cuticle pusher and push your cuticles back. This is Blue Cross brand and I purchased this from Sally's as well as that ASP antibacterial cleansing spray. You simply just put, place a drop of this on your cuticle and proceed to push them back with whatever implement that you like to use. So the items that I like to use to push my cuticles back would either be this which is a cuticle stone or I'll use a stainless steel cuticle pusher okay and please excuse my cuticles um i was cleaning up around the edges with acetone which is nail polish remover and it makes them look like really dry so i still have to go in with some cuticle oil um but i take that blue cross cuticle remover and i apply it to the cuticle area and then i just continue to proceed with pushing the cuticle back and just getting rid of any extra um cuticle that may be left over once your cuticles are pushed back the next thing you will want to do is go in with a buffing block and um, just buff the entire surface of the nail. Just like that. Okay. And some of these things I've already done for the sake of time. I was debating as to whether or not I even really wanted to do it on camera. But once you buff the nail, then you just want to take a little brush and get any little dust that comes off and all of these products can be purchased i purchased mine from sally beauty supply but there's also ebay and amazon you can visit as well the next two products i are what i use when i do my refill this one is called line be gone and this just helps eliminate fill and repair lines on acrylics gels or wraps and it also blends tips on your natural nails so what i do is i like to take one coat of this and i apply it anywhere um just strictly where the refill line is so you'll have your natural nail and then you'll have that little end of the gel or the acrylic and um, I'll just file it down as thin as I can get it and then I go in with the line be gone after that I go in with two coats of my primer the primer is applied strictly to the base of the nail your natural nail where you're getting ready to do your refill be mindful not to get it on the skin because some people do develop allergic reactions to these products and again i go in with two coats of my primer letting it dry in between each coat okay, so once you've gotten all those prepping steps done it's now time to apply your gel i don't know what I was thinking. I should have started off by letting you know. I file my gel down as thin as I can possibly get it on the nail. Um, because if you're going to go in with more coats of it, you don't want a super thick nail. Um, so I file it down and I do that by using either a nail filer like this. I actually use this nail file. Beauty Secrets, I purchased this from Sally's Beauty Supply. And then I go in with my electric drill and I purchased my electric drill off of um, eBay. And I use a card by bit around the cuticle area. And what this does is it allows me to get close to the cuticle area without like cutting myself or anything like that. It's a safety drill bit. So I go in with that and I just get all of this um, area filed down as thin as I can possibly get it um, the tip is still on there's still another coat of gel or you can just take it off completely and redo everything but if you don't feel like you need to then I guess you don't have to okay love so if you've watched the gel acrylic application my first initial video then you're just simply going to take those same application steps from here you're going to apply a nice thin coat of the gel acrylic gel okay and i purchased this from sheba nails you're just going to apply a very very thin coat of it and then you're going to um sprinkle the powder over it so let me just go ahead and apply a really, really thin coat of this.
Okay, so the second step to this is to, once you apply your thin coat of gel, you will want to take the powder and you want to sprinkle it over the entire nail bit. So you just want to take and scoop the powder all over anywhere that the gel was applied to your fingernail. And then what you're going to do is sit under your UV lamp. I have a 9 watt lamp that I purchased from Sally Beauty Supply and, this, and it cures it just fine. You're going to sit under the lamp for the first time for one minute or 60 seconds, whichever, you know, way your timer works. I put mine on for a minute. 60 seconds is a minute, guys. <laughs> so you want to, what I'm doing is just tapping to get any excess powder off of my finger. You want to check and make sure that there's no gel around surrounding the nail um because if you put it under your put that under your lamp then it's going to give you a tingling sensation so now what you're going to do is just go and sit under the lamp for one minute once the first minute under the uv lamp is up you want to go in with a second coat of your gel acrylic powder and you're going to apply it the same way that you did your first coat you're just simply going to try not to make the layers too thick guys the second one can be a little bit thicker but just try not to make it too too thick okay so you're going to simply apply this to the nail bed again and then you're going to go in with the powder Just as the first time, once you've gotten that gel applied to your nails, you want to apply the powder to your nail. And this is going to sit under the lamp for two minutes. And then don't forget, turn your finger over and tap that excess powder off of your nail. And also double check that you don't have any gel on your cuticle area. And then you're going to sit under your UV lamp for two minutes. Now it's time to start your third layer. The third layer is what they consider your shiny coat. So you're just going to simply apply, again, a nice thin layer of the gel acrylic gel. And you're going to apply that, but you're not going to put the powder on top of it. And you're going to sit under your UV lamp for three minutes. So apply your gel. Do not apply the powder on top of it and sit under your lamp for two to three minutes. I always sit under there for three minutes for my last coat. All right, so when you take your nail out of the lamp for the last time, you're going to get a really shiny coat. Mine was a lot shinier, but I buffed it down to prep it for nail application. You don't have to do that. That's just my preference. I like to use that shiny coat as more like a strengthening layer, if anything. But you can um, definitely go and be done after that. The last step would be to just simply get that tacky layer off. And you only do this on the last um, the last time you take your finger out of the gel lamp, you don't want to do this in between coats, okay? You want to take a, I use this, this is the IBD Cleanser Plus, I purchased it from Sally's and I use some lint-free nail wipes, but if you order the gel acrylic powder, gel acrylic powder, um, kit from Sheba Nails, they actually have their own, uh, tacky layer, uh, product that you can use, but, these lint-free nail wipes I purchased from Sally's. I wouldn't suggest using cotton rounds because, again, the layer is sticky. And if you go in with um, cotton, then it's just simply going to stick to the nail and create a big mess. So definitely get some lint-free nail wipes and um, just simply wipe the tacky layer off and that's it. Um, after that, you can be done with it or you can buff it down like I do, apply me a base coat and start with my nail polish. Just a couple quick tips. When you are using this gel acrylic 
please be sure to close it up every time you turn the UV lamp on and to move it away from the lamp. The reason being is because the UV lamp cures the gel, which means it makes it hard. And if your bottle is next to the lamp, then it will indeed make this hard inside the bottle. And you don't want to waste your money by doing that. So make sure that you definitely keep this away from the lamp. Also, I know I didn't show my fouling within itself on camera that's only because I don't have a dust collector I need to purchase one and I do not want my camera getting messed up because the dust particles are getting inside and the the um cyst inside my camera I don't want to mess up my camera so I just try, try to take those safety precautions but again just to start off before you do anything the first thing would be to just start filing the original you know when you go to refill your nails just take and file all of the gel down as thin a layer as you can it's just like refilling acrylic um or traditional acrylic and then go in with your prepping techniques and then apply your gel acrylic that's it i hope you dolls enjoyed the tutorial if you have any other questions or comments then be sure to leave them below and as always and until next time have a gorgeous day dolls smooches Bye.